her heartfelt feelings. We will probably, by the end of this decade, be the largest oil producing country in the world, bigger than Saudi Arabia, bigger than Russia. And if we work at it, we will surely be the largest oil producer in the world. And if you do that, a couple of things happen. You create millions of jobs. You keep $500 billion a year at home that we're sending overseas. You get free of the Middle East. You begin to create the money to pay off the national debt. And you reduce the price of gasoline. Now, we have, as some of you know, because we have some signs here, my goal is to get gasoline between $2 and $2.50 a gallon. And And I believe we can do that. I mean, I don't think this is impossible, but here's what's fascinating. I've had three or, f three or four days now of elitists coming back and saying, well, that's not possible. Uh, somebody said, I think on one of the Sunday shows, this is all just a fantasy. And I'm always reminded as a historian that these are people who have no memory. They, they, I think they, they create professional amnesia. The price of gasoline when I was speaker was $1.13 a gallon. The price of gasoline when Barack Obama was sworn in was $1.89 a gallon. Now, I didn't say, let's get back to his inaugural day, uh, because I talked to a number of oil experts who said, if you, if you, because these new formations are deeper and more complex and require a more expensive process. You know, in the old days, in, in the original period of the, of the great oil discoveries, they literally had what they called gushers because the pressure they gushed up from the reservoirs, and it was amazing. Well, we don't, that kind of oil we've mostly discovered. Now we're getting deeper oil, more complicated oil. And the folks who I trust said to me, look, it's got to be somewhere between two and 250 in order to sustain the capital investment to produce the, the, the scale of energy you want. Okay, so you compare current prices, 250 be better. California passed $5 yesterday in some of their gas stations. That They have the most expensive gas in the country. But nonetheless, other than Hawaii, which has to ship it all in. But my point's simple. There's no reason we can't design a pro-American consumer strategy, maximize the production of energy, as a result, maximize the number of American jobs, and as a result, give you more take-home pay that you get to spend on something other than gasoline. 